What's good guys, today I'm going to be sharing with you a POV I shot in Liverpool early last month at the Ultimate Car Show with the Sony A6400 and I paired it with the 18-50 and the 56 F14. All the photography you're going to see in today's video have been edited by presets. If you do want to check them out, link for them is in the description below. But with all that said and done, let me share with you some of the photography I was able to capture. myself but I don't think I can afford the upkeep. Oh the Beamer there, oh we're gonna be so sorted with photography content today. This is gonna be sick. Where do we start? Whoa is that a super? <laughs> nice! A nice landscape shot of the back. Very nice. Okay. Right. Next we're gonna use this, uh, what is this, an Audi as a bit of a foreground to the Supra. <laughs> Snap, that is good. That is really good. Oh, that is gorgeous. Look at that shot right there. That is perfect. Now we're going to get a portrait shot of the brake light again. Oh, that is so sick. And now I want to get a photo of the alloy right here. Oh yes, we need the 56 out soon to really get the F14, but for now I'm shooting at about 50mm on the 18 to 50 and it is giving us results. We're going to have to bring down the shutter speed to 150 of a second, so with no 5 action body stabilisation, we're going to have to keep it really stable. Right, there we go, shoot a burst just so one of them are, is going to be sharp. Well, that's the hope anyway, and that is the result. Oh god damn, that is beautiful. Love the colour. Oh wow, look at that engine. Let's get a photo of the engine bay. Engine bay! That is a nice detail shot. Look at that. That is that is pornography. I don't think I should be allowed to show this on YouTube. A nice headlight shot here from this angle. Oh wow. Pure art right there. And speaking of art, we've got a Supra. Oh, that is exquisite. For our next shot here, we are going to just wait for these people to walk by and fill the frame of this in portrait. Oh, nice. I'll be able to remove the background signs and in Photoshop and get them all cleared up, but wow. That is a shot. Right. Went for a higher angle there, looking down at the car, shooting that at the widest possible at 18 on this lens, and... It's not looking bad. Crowds are taking away from it a little bit, but you can't really do much about that in this scenario. What we want right here. Woohoo, look at that. That is nice. Look how low, that is not getting over speed bumps. That is just insane. Sorry, mate. That's all right, mate. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Have a good day, guys. I'm going to get a nice detail shot here of the rear end of the car. Oh, flipping it. I love that with the background with the garage doors and everything. It just looks right with the setting. Nice detail shot here. Focusing again on the brake light. I don't know why, but I kind of vibe this Beetle. <laughs> so we got to get a photo with the bug. Let's go a little bit further back. So we can uh, punch him with a zoom a bit. Try and open up the aperture a bit to about f5.6. Drop the shutter speed. 150 of a second, gonna have to keep it nice and stable. How about that? Oh, we got the 370Z in yellow. Oh, she is beautiful. Yes, straight off, get that nice portrait shot. Nice detail looking at this part of the car at the rear end. I've forgotten what the shot angle composite is called because I'm just overwhelmed. <laughs> there you go. All right, here we go. Nice front angle shot of the car. Oh, that looks mighty. Thanks, mate. Have a good day. Oh, just stunning. Oh, this is going to be an absolute rad shot. Now I'm going to bring down the F-stop to F-2.8 by purpose to get a bit more depth to the image. Adjust the polarizer at the front of the camera. Oh, I think the 
landscape one actually looks ten times better. But both of them just look. Ooh, this is a really nice detail shot right here. Look at that. Oh, that's shot about 18 mil. And that is just exquisite. Quickly get a shot from down here of this Nissan. This is a really nice landscape shot. Fill in the frame a bit. We're gonna bring up the act stop a little bit. Oh wow, look at what we are delivering right there. Look at this frame right here. Foreground here, frame quite nice here with a beamer, Nissan right in the middle. So now we just gotta wait for our opportunity. And whilst I do that, I'm gonna adjust the uh, aperture, bring it up a little bit. So I have the front of the car and the back of the car in focus. ISO, I am gonna have to bring up, unfortunately, um, maybe to about 2,000, maybe 1,600 should do it. And then wait for a clean frame, and that should do it. Oh, we have got a sick angle going on here. Look at this, all right, look at this. That is absolutely rad. Check out that shot right there, flip. Classic alloy shot, let's get it in landscape. Oh, that is a nice angle right there, that is gnarly. Oh, look at the purple on the skyline. Gotta get a detail shot of the GTR badge here. You've gotta, it's law from now on. I've set this new law and I like this new law. <laughs> I am so happy right now. Look at all these cars, look at all these photographs and it's just insane. Oh, this is a mighty low angle shot right here. Oh, flip. That is cool. Oh, how about that as a bit of a low angle? That's a bit different. Oh, that is an absolutely brilliant interior shot right there. Check that out. Using that as a bit of a foreground to get a really cool angle there. Nice. Is that a Peugeot I'm seeing right there? It is, isn't it? That is a Peugeot. It's a slammed Peugeot. Someone's got an estate car Peugeot from like 2012 and slammed it, as you do. But I'm gonna get this cool landscape shot of it right here. That is the most bizarre car I've ever seen slammed. All right, nice detail shot right here. Oh man, the headlights on these cars are just so beautiful. I'm gonna go back a little bit. Let's fill the frame a bit. Let's absolutely annihilate the frame by just filling it with Beamer. Oh, stunning. And now a classic headlight shot. I'll be able to remove the toilet sign in the background, so that's nice. Yeah, that is that is stunning. I love the colour. The colour on that, I rate it 10 out of 10. So now let's get a photo of the Audi. Nice low angle shot right there of it. And now I think if we can get a front on shot. All right, this angle right here, the alloy is absolutely sick. Look at that. Because I'm shooting a little bit further back, shooting at a bit of an angle, you get to see part of the car as well. You're not just focused purely on the alloy. Oh, look at that. I mean, portrait from above, landscape a little bit lower down. Both shots looking great. This is a nice angle. That's a really cool angle right there. Oh, we snapped it, we got it, we grabbed it. I love it. This is where a polarizer really comes into play because I'm able to cut through the reflections. I don't know if you can see here on the screen, but you can see here there's quite a big reflection there from that big uh, garage door. If I just turn the CPL filter, it is now gone. That is the pure power right there on the CPL filter. Why you need it if you're going to be doing some car photography. I'll leave some links in the description below so you can check them out yourself. But yeah, look at that. Bang. Got it. Now switch things up. We've got the 56 F14, which is going to allow us to use that F14 aperture to really get some sick shots. We'll go back to the 18 to 50 at some point, but for now, let's just play around with this toy. Look at this F14 just right there, the headlight of that Beamer. That's what I'm talking about with this lens. It's so good. Just looking around at different cars, looking at what's interesting, playing around with things, just being super creative with it, trying multiple different things because, well, this event is absolutely rad and there are so many great cars, it's really hard not to get good photographs. Right, we're going a little bit higher up here to get a photograph of the steering wheel of this Beamer. And that is a, ooh, look at that, a bit of an interior shot right there. 
We're getting it, we're getting it. No, it's alright, mate. Go ahead, go ahead, you're alright. Thanks, mate. I do rate the old Beamer headlights, looks so good. Oh, look at this. That is a really cool interior shot of the Beamer right there. Steering wheel using the red seats, foreground. Ooh, perfection right there. Shot of this Mini right here is going to be a bit rad. Look at that. I don't know if that interior is amazing or just completely distracting. I'm going to go with amazing for now. Oh, look at the Toyota here. This is pretty nice. Portrait, get that, and then landscape. This, this is one of my favorite angles right here. Just getting the back of the car from a three quarter angle always looks so good. I like the meme. Really cool interior shot right here of the Audi TT. Look at that. I'm sorry if the audio is a little bit sketchy in here. There's a massive DJ behind me. Then in the frame right here, I'm at 56 mil. So I haven't been able to get all the car in the shot, but what I have been able to get looks pretty spot on. Very nice shot here of the alloy. Woo that looks so good, look at that. Oh, that is rad. Fill the frame with this first shot here, because there's no one in the shot. F5, IS2, 2500, 150 for a second. Now, what I want to do is use this Audi here as a bit of a foreground to our main subject right there. Look at a Mercedes. Oh, I, I don't really rate a Mercedes, but I rate that one. And with no one around, it means we can get a really clean shot of it. And at this angle, we can't see all the people in the background. So it's kind of a win-win situation for us. We get a really cool car and we get a really clean shot. Let's get a photo of the front of this four right here. Very nice speaker to pull. Oh, what, what a shot, what a car. I love, I love a Mustang. Fill in the frame of it. I love the all black look here on this one. Look at this. If we can get this angle right here, we have got the headlight and those really nice alloys. Oh, that, that portrait shot is something else. Nice landscape shot down there of the Supra. Oh, that grey is stunning. Here's a cool shot. And this is really going to test out. You're all right. <laughs> Thank you. This is going to really test out the uh, noise reduction in Lightroom uh, because uh, that was shot at 12,800, so it looks very grainy. But maybe Photoshop can do something about it. Right, look at this Beamer. Look at how sick this looks. All right, and look at the composite. Look at the mist because of the fog machines. It is really adding to a really cool aesthetic. And I reckon I'll be able to play around with it a lot to really make everything bloom. But that is already a really good start before we even get to the edit. Oh, look at this angle right here. Oh my God, this is so sick. Let's bring up the F-stop, F8. Bring down the shutter speed quite drastically. F8 shooting a burst, and hopefully one of them not good. I'm trying to also shout a little bit over the audio so I don't get done for copyright. Oh, this is mighty, this landscape shot down here. Let's go a little bit wider. But I wanna focus on just the front part of the car. Right behind me, literally, I'm sat right behind a Supra and I'm taking a photograph of this Beamer, but for good reason. I mean, those headlights, so gorgeous. And look at it right there. Oh, man. All right, check out this shot right here of the Supra. Fill the frame of it and shoot a burst. Now, you might be wondering why am I shooting such an excessive burst? And the pure reason is because of the headlights. They sometimes flicker and you can have one side on and the other side off. So I shoot a burst and it just ensures I have all the lights on. I think it also has to do with your shutter speed, but I don't know. What I'm gonna do here is kind of interesting with the framing, right? I'm gonna shoot it through the interior of another car. So then we have a perspective like this. And look at that, look at that perspective right there. You can't tell me that's a little bit uh, cool. A little bit unique, you know? Got an absolutely sick frame right here. We have got the Mercedes here in the foreground, the Beamer right there in the foreground, and right there in the centre, boom, is the Supra. So we can wait for get people out the way, we'll be able to absolutely nail this shot. So come on, let's have it. Oh my days, no way, no way, no way. That is sick. 
camera. The Sony A6400 is still a brilliant camera. Highly recommend it. I really am going to be testing my limits with uh, Photoshop because I'm going to try and remove that truck from the background. Don't know how well of a job it's going to do, but when you've got these two cars next to each other, you've really got to try and get a good shot across. Oh, wow. No, 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 no. no. Give me this shot. Give me this shot right here. Look at that with all the cars. Oh, my days. This is showing how many cars are at this event. It's not the best shot, but I just like that we get to see all these stunning and superb cars. All right, guys, so that is where we are going to be leaving today's POV with the Sony A6400. And that is one of the best final frames I have ever seen for one of my POVs. Look at all these cars. Look at how quiet it is. Yes. Look at how cool this place is. But yeah, hopefully you have enjoyed today's POV. But the last thing we should do today is have a look for the hashtag Curtis Hadley. Let's go. Jumping straight into things today, we're going to try and focus on cars. So the first photograph we'll have a look at today is this one by Photography. This BMW. Love the foreground of it. Love the background. The composition is perfect, and that is just. A beautiful looking car uh, this one right here this ferrari is absolutely stunning the composites the angles the elegance the beauty amazingly captured shots of such a beautiful red beast this is another nice beamer shot i love the front shot just looking at those headlights those headlights on beamers are just iconic this one by uh, SKB F31, amazing shot right there. Oh, look at the low key lighting on this BMW. Oh, that is amazing. That is so stunning. And the interior shot as well. <sighs> Nailed it. Oh, this red super right here by CY James Media. That is stunning. These composites, these angles, these detail shots, the color grading, every single one of these is delivered to perfection. It's been a second since I had a look for the hashtag CP photos. I've been so busy with this transition, moving home, getting the new YouTube studio set up that I haven't really been filming much content, but that is changing. Once I get the studio revealed, it's very close to being done and then hopefully things will get a bit more calmer. I think is the right word to be using there because at the moment everything is chaos but i do hope you also have enjoyed today's pov if you do want to see some more like car photography povs and videos around the a6400 with cars let me know in the comment section below because this was a lot of fun to do and i really do hope you have enjoyed it as much as i have making it and sharing it but yeah until next time guys create explore and inspire and i'll see you in the next one